The Seven Star Cinderace Terror Raid event is now live once again in your copy of Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all the details in today's video in case you missed it the first time around. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So as of recording this video, the event is now back. It is running from January the 13th until January the 15th. So this Sunday is when the event will end. Remember, if you do take part in this event in your copy of Scarlet and Violet and you don't go online after the event expires on the 15th of January, then you will keep this event in your games until the next time you go online with your game. So then you'll be able to use this opportunity to farm the high cost items that you're going to get from these event dens. So like we've before Cinderace, just going over the details, going to be level 100, 7 star. It is going to have the mightiest mark, which makes it quite unique. You're not going to get this mark anywhere else in the games other than this event. It is shiny locked, so you're not going to be able to catch it in its shiny form in these Terror Raid events, but you can, once you've caught the Cinderace, then breed it down to have the chance of hatching a shiny skull bunny. It is always going to have locked in the fighting terror type, so it will not be anything other than fighting. It will have its hidden ability and it will have the moves high jump kick pyro ball acrobatics iron head and then additional move bulk up so you know what you're going up against the item drops in particular are amazing for this event so once you've caught cinderace it is advisable to try and just go through these events as many times as you can to acquire a lot of the xl and large candies proteins that you're going to get as well as the increased chances of terror shards fighting type terror shards that you're going to get you're going to get bulk up tms as well as probably one of the more valuable items in this raid den you're going to get the chance of getting an ability patch as well which are not only great to sell if you don't need them but for changing a pokemon's ability into its hidden ability or vice versa you can see from the rest of the items that you're going to get you're going to get a chance to get any of these ones as well on top of the other ones a rare candies more proteins higher cost items like shards summer shards nuggets nature mints bottle caps and then ability capsules as well as the ability patch so you can get some really great items from this and that's why it's worth if you don't go online a lot keep your game offline and then you can just farm this event and get as many items from this event as you want and they're also great to get a lot of money by selling them especially things like the proteins that you might not use a lot of alongside this cinderace you're going to get the four star and five star gengar and gyarados some of the gengars the five star ones will have a terror type tied to them so they'll always be a psychic type same for the gyarados it is going to be tied with a flying type but for the rest of the four and the five star gyarados and Gengar, you're going to get a random terror type. They'll be easy to identify these spotlight terror raids on your map. They'll be pulsating with a white-ish aura, so you'll be able to see which ones these are. The item drops for these are alright. They're not terrible, but they're not as good as what you'd probably get from the regular 5-star raids for a Gengar or a Gyarados. So if you're not really interested and you're not getting any marks or anything like that from them. So the main feature of this event really is going to be the Cinderace, unless you want to get particularly these Gengar or Gyarados with particular terror types. So like I say, the event itself is running from the 13th as of recording this video until January the 15th, so this Sunday. So take advantage of it while it is in game. And this will be the last time the Cinderace seven star raid will be running before we get a new seven star terror raid announced probably on monday this coming week so to get this seven star terror raid event in your games come down to your poker portal in game then go into mystery gifts and go down to get poker portal news this will connect you to the internet and update all of your terror raid events in the paldea region once you've done this you can come onto your map and you'll be easily able to identify the spotlight terror raid dens which will have the gyarados and gengars in them as well as that one single seven star terror raid event which will look like a six star terror raid in your games and it will have the fighting type symbol on it which will look a little bit like this then you just want to head over to it take it on once you've beat it caught the cinderace or just defeated it as the seven star terror raid events only appear once per day what you can do to get another one instantly in your games is hit your home menu come down to your system system settings then down to date and time make sure your clock is off via the internet come down to your date click into it then move a minute back on your clock click ok come back into your games 
and then you will see everything on the map change. All your dens will respawn in different areas and you will get that seven star terror raid back again. So you can go and just farm it and do this over and over again until your heart is content. And if you're wondering how you can best take on these Cinderace seven star raids, well, we've got a bunch of content on the channel already. In particular, we put a video up earlier this week, which I'll link up there for you to check out, which has got the best three builds to go in and solo this Cinderace with, making it easy for you to farm these items in your game. It's going to include Slow Brawl, which is probably the most consistent one, makes it super easy, as Pathra, which I would say is probably a good one for going online and also doing solo raids, and Armor Rouge as well, which can be played in both an online and a solo setting, making these raids extremely easy for you to go in and farm. I've really enjoyed this Seven Star Cinderace event over the two weekends that it has been running and pleased to have it back in my game so I can start farming a few more of these items. I'm extremely excited to look out for what we'll get next for these seven star raids. I did put a poll up on the channel. It was interesting to see what your answers would be from it. But let me know down in the comment section below what you would like to see next. My big pick would be Greninja praying that we get it but i don't know how likely it is it's more likely we're staying on this fire type theme and maybe we'll see something like hisuian type flosion which would be hype but i'd love to hear what you think thank you so much for tuning in have fun with this event if this video has been helpful do drop a like do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon scarlet and violet content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye